Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. How are we all? Um, I feel like I'm constantly starting these vlogs or like videos these days in my car. But I mean, I do love it, so why not? Um, how are we all? I've had quite a productive um, Tuesday. I've already been up, I've been in the gym, I was at the gym at 7 this morning, then I came home, got ready, filmed a boohoo haul, which I love, love, love. Like probably one of my favourite ones. Um, and now I'm meeting wee Megano. We're going out to shoot some content. Um, and I've texted Jade, but Jade is a busy girl, trying to get a hold of her. Um, so I want to try and do something fun with wee Jade. Um, ASAP. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd vlog. I've got a really exciting week this week. So today is just like content, but I'm actually sitting outside. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's a Chinese supermarket. Um, Megan wants to get some content here. Um, I'm hoping we Megan will bring some Michelle a wee bit because I am quite shy when it comes to taking photos. So hopefully, I can, she can help me up my game. Um, but just off topic, but I got these sunglasses, but I think they're um, key gifted me them. Um, but what was I saying there? So yeah, we're in a Chinese we're going to a Chinese supermarket. Megan wants a photo there. But I actually didn't realise this was here. But I want to do the I seen Molly done it. I've been seeing it on TikTok, that salmon trend, so I want to do that. So I don't have anything for dinner tonight, so I might just do that. And then, what else was I going to say? Then tomorrow we're going out for Mum's birthday dinner, so I'll bring us along to that. Thursday I am going pumpkin picking with Tequila Rosie. Um, fun times. And Friday, what's happening Friday? We have a brunch with Eyebrow Lady Glasgow. Um, that's happening on Friday, Halloween theme, and then Saturday I'm going to my friend, like a family friend, um, birthday party. Um, I probably I won't be vlogging that, um, but like I vlog getting ready because I am if my outfit comes in time. It might honestly be the best outfit I've ever worn in my life, um, so I really want to show you that. And yeah, that's like the kind of week so far i didn't have a really good day yesterday i was a bit down in the dumps um so that's why i'm starting it today but i feel like we've got a good busy next couple of days um i ordered something really random for my outfit for the pumpkin picking i want i've really i've not worn my new prada jacket yet i spent a fucking fortune on it i've still not worn it however to be fair the weather in glasgow's been fucking touch and go it's hot for a while but I want to wear that pumpkin picking and then I want I, I tried to buy the Jackamus Jackamu, what we call it, um headband the black one but it wouldn't come in time. So I managed to get the red one on Harmon Nichols. I don't know how I feel about it, but it'll come hopefully in time and then that'll be part of my outfit. So I will show you all that as well. Loads of unboxing I need to do. Get some cool packages, some cool stuff I want to show you. Um I can't reach them. I want to show you cool trainers. But yeah, I just thought I'd start the vlog here, get the wee intro started. This jacket, by the way, oh my god. Also, by the way, guys, I fell st and thought I broke my hand. Um, but I can't get these rings off. So my fingers are so swollen. Um, but these three fingers are fucked. And this bit in my hand and in my wrist. And when I was doing the gym this morning, oh my god, it was that. Because I can't really get like my hand gripped around something. Like the way I can do with that one, I can't. Like that, that's really as far without that being sore. Um, so that was a struggle, but I've got the gym the rest of the week. Kind of slacked a wee bit over the weekend there. I was annoyed at myself, but whatever, we're back in the game. So I'm going to go out with Megan, do some content, go for coffee. Then I'm going to go home, it is pushing down, take my makeup off and put a tracksuit on and then go a big massive walk tonight. And then come home and edit. And I'll obviously do the salmon thing, so... Yeah, that's really as exciting my day is. But I want to go to Marks and Spencers instead of buying like a fillet of salmon because I actually don't really like salmon. I can eat it in sushi sometimes, but if it's pure fishy, whoop. however, I love every type of fish. It's just salmon, something about salmon. Um, but obviously that's part of the trend. But Marks and Spencers do this 
shredded salmon, like flaked salmon with chilli. So I feel like that'll be really nice. So I was going to go buy that instead of buying a salmon fillet. So that's kind of the aim of the game. That's what I need to get, need to, get to m as, as well at some point um, today. But yeah, we're just waiting on me Megano and we will catch up as the day goes on. Um, but I don't think I did anything else to tell you, did I? Oh no, so next week I'm going to be filming um, like what I eat in the week training as well. Um, because loads of you guys are like, oh, can we get like an updated version of that as well? So I'm going to be doing that. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's something you just want to see. Um, but I hope you try, guys enjoyed ooh, what spit it out. Enjoyed the boohoo haul. I definitely did. I've actually got some items that I'm shooting today for it. But yeah, we'll catch up once we make animals here. Right, guys, so we're home from taking content with Megan. Um, <coughs> So pure weird. So I went to literally about three different Chinese supermarkets, couldn't get any of the ingredients, and then went to Sainsbury's and got them all. Weird. So you need sriracha, soy, and this was a hard one that Sainsbury's had, and all cocoa honey. It says it's um, smelly fish. So I, this is risky, so I actually got another dinner because I. I don't think I'm going to like this, if I'm being honest, because I don't, I'm not a big fan of salmon, but I'm doing it for the trend, aren't I? Let's try it anyway. Um, so if you are wanting to do this, same speed, I went to one in Brayhead and he had everything. Um, this is a male, cupy male, which is not said cupy male because the people in the shops don't understand what you're saying. So I've just did rice and salmon mashed together. But like I was saying, like, I'm not really a salmon gal, so this is why I don't think I'm going to like this. But apparently you just do, like, a zigzag of that. Soy. I'm hoping this tastes like sushi, but I have a bad feeling I don't want to taste like sushi. So I probably won't like it. So I did go to Marks and Spencer's and buy, like, another dinner. Like, it's got, like, chicken and veg. Um, because I don't think I'm going to like this, but I'm trying. I like my food spicy. Okay, so then apparently what you have to do is like mash. You can't get any of this darling because it's now spicy. Okay. Until it looks like a dog's dinner. Then apparently you're meant to have it with like avocado as well. So I like cubed some bits of avocado. And then I also got this in same space. It's the seaweed. But you can buy it in like sheets, but like, I couldn't get it like, in like ripped up sheets. So you just need to like cut it up yourself. Basically, you just main ingredient. Hold on. The part of that just snap off somewhere. Um, chopsticks, right? So apparently you just take a piece Oh my god it's in my eye It's because I've hurt my hand as well It's like Okay It kind of does taste like sushi. I don't 
hair tuck. But I'm not like I'm going out and buy it, do you know what I mean? Obviously I've got the ingredients now. This is you. For me, because I don't like salmon, I would probably be like a 7 out of 10. But I do think if you like salmon, you'll absolutely love it. But I'm going to just have literally two more bits. Because I don't love it enough for it to be like my dinner. Do you know what I mean? Does it need more soy? I don't know. Yeah. I know I quite like a lot of soy. But honestly guys, I was absolutely gobsmacked the fact that I went to like all these supermarkets and they didn't have it in Sainsbury's did. Honestly guys, I pure can't tell if I like it or not. I'm gonna get any chicken. Do you know what? I'm glad I've tried it because I kept saying it. I seen it on TikTok and I kept saying, oh, I really, really want to try that. Then I seen me Molly doing it. So, I can say I've tried it, but I'm not going to have it as my dinner because I don't love it. I'm gonna go and actually make my dinner and feed this wee one. You want to say hi, everyone? Say hi, everyone. Oh, look. Say hi, everyone. Oh, say, Mummy's gonna make me big chicken. Chicken for dinner. You want Marks and Spencer chicken for dinner? We are ready. He wants to go see the Nana. He wants to go see the Nana. She me. Get a head towel. Don't give me head. I see your wee head turning. I'm sorry, but how can you not just think my dogs are the cutest wains in the world? Um, looking up the gaff. I am ready. I was actually meant to go to take photos, but I went to pick up a parcel and they said the parcel was in there and then I went back and they said it was shut. Well, what? Well, they didn't say it was shut. It was shut. Um, so that's not good. Um, locking up the gap before anyone kills them. Comes and shoots me or kills me. I also don't know what I've done in my purse. Hmm. Anyone know? <sighs> For my life. Check my bags. So we're going to a place a mum pure loves. I mean, if you know like my house, or, like my family, you know that my mum's not really a big eater. She literally just eats salad. Um, she really loves this restaurant in Uddingston called Tinto or Tibo. No, Tinto. Tibo's another place. Um, which is rare. It's rare for my mum to eat out, to be honest. But she wants to go there for a birthday, so we're going there for a birthday. And my dad is maybe on night shift, but got the day off, so um, it's even better. Does anybody know where your dad put your leads? No, great. I do wish they would reply to me. I just wish the dogs would talk, but they don't. Um, so yeah, I'll show you my outfit. This is it here. I just did a TikTok on it actually. So the jacket's fourth and necklace, and the jumper is my misguided one of my trousers or Zara. Um, but go check me out on TikTok. My finger has got worse, so that's really not good. But. 
Whatevs. Whatevs, whatevs, whatevs. Good morning, guys. I know you can't really see me. I or something. Yeah. But I just thought I'd show you my breakfast that I'm loving the nice. It's like a little wrap. I toast it like a quite crispy, though. Um, we bear boys not well. So basically, you can't really see. So I'm going to eat. Coco, get down. I'm going to need to play the telly, but put, quickly put it on mute. Friends, the fact that she's. Also, guys, I haven't took my mascara off properly, so look a bit scary. But basically, it's just a wrap with bacon, egg, and avocado. So it's two bacon medallions, one egg, and 40 grams. Well, that today's a wee bit less. Probably about 30 grams of avocado. Um, and then these vegetarian sausages. Um, they're the highest protein source in like a vegetarian sausage. I've found it's just the Richmond ones. My mascara's all over the camp. But guys, I got this sauce. Oh my god. If you like a spicy things or like spicy with your breakfast, then get away. But I can't take me seriously, so I'm gonna go. Um, but I am watching Real Housewives. Oh, Beverly Hills. They thought it was something that it oh, wasn't. Oh, poor Kathy. I was that they would watch. The devil child. So I was... Morning, everyone. How are we all? So, I don't think... Well... Come on, Bear. Come. Up we come. Come on, Bear. Come on. Good boy. Um, I don't think... We're sitting on the stair. Coco was sitting on the stair this morning, so we're having a little family moment here. Um... I didn't film yesterday just because I hadn't seen Jen in ages and a wee baby was in, I got that carried away. Um, but yesterday was honestly a day from hell. So wee bear wasn't well, so he had to go to the vet, um, get a wee jag and get loads of tablets to make him all better. I know, son. And then I went to my mum's for a cup of tea, just chilled there. I seen my dad before night shift. Then I knew I needed to go to a food shop, my mum was going to a food shop, so I waited for that. And then literally as we were about to leave the door to the food shop, Coco was constipated and the shit was all stuck to her arse. I was like, what have I done to deserve this? What have I? Who has just farted? Oh God. I'm going to take a guess and say, oh no, I think that was your brother. <laughs> but that is stinky winky. What is your stinky winky one? A stinky winky one. But Coco's now. Oh. What's wrong? What is it, darling? You've been a wee bit of a. Come on. Thank your ass there. Thank your ass there. Come sit. Um. Coco now does this thing where she sits on the stairs sometimes. Um, but update, guys. So I don't know if any of you remember me saying, but you're like a mess, I'm not washing my tan off. Um, that I was trying to get Coco Pop. Oh, my Coco Pop. Into puppy care. Doggy daycare. I found one. So this one, Coco doesn't need to be sprayed. Bear has to be neutered, which is actually perfect because he is. So we're going on Monday for a trial. And yesterday when your brother was at the vet, I took you and I got you your booster. Why do you look like you're about to be sick? Um, so I wasn't able to go to the pumpkin picking yesterday that I was meant to go to. Um, oh, I think I told you that, but I was just having stress all day. But I came home last night, took my tan off, put my tan on. Um, but what I'm going to go do now is I need to go pick up my club L London parcel. So I'm going to go put some clothes on, go there, come back and then get ready. Because I need to be at the event for 12. And I can't be late, so I need to do that. Morning, everyone. How are we all? It's been a few days since I vlogged. Excuse the state of me. Um, basically, I was meant to vlog the brunch. I know I did say that, but this week's just been like one of those weeks. Everything's went wrong. I've been a wee bit all over the place, a wee bit emotional. Friday, it was like torrential rain. I had like other stuff I had to shoot. So I had like three bags, my jacket over my hair, and I left my camera in my car. 
and that was just like I can't um, but we have that you can't see them but I do have the dogs in the car don't we guys see tell everyone where we're going we're saying we're going to doggy school so yeah we're going to doggy nursery um, we I am taking the dogs to doggy daycare like if you've watched any of my recent videos you've probably seen me talk about it if you hear the seatbelt psyching off guys like that it's because Coco puts her bum up and down on the seat um, and because her and Ben are on the same seat it weighs probably like what a person like a bum or like it lets it think there's something on the seat anyway um, she's just such a fidget but yeah they're going to doggy daycare which I'm super super excited about so that's really good I had a bit of a breakdown last night like honestly guys I get so like these dogs are my babies but I don't know, I had a wee bit of, I was literally eating dinner with my mum and dad and I burst into tears because we were talking about it. Mum was like, are you alright? And I was like, see, because Coco is, Coco's such an anxious wee dog. Like, I always have this fear she's going to take a heart attack. And I know that sounds really mental, but I always have this fear that she's going to get into such a wee state. Because when I say, guys, like, she doesn't just get a fright, she actually has a full scale meltdown. Like, a heart beats at her chest, she shakes. Sometimes she gets a bit foamy at the mouth. And I keep thinking, oh my God, imagine when I leave her, she's thinking of salt, like I've gave her up, or I don't know, I don't know. And I keep thinking she's gonna take a wee heart attack. Mum was like, you're really thinking too much into this, but I know it's gonna be good for her. I know it's gonna be good for her. So I'm like, just, it's like putting, dropping your, I honestly strongly believe it's like dropping your baby off to school for the first time. Like this morning, mum and dad were like, Right, you're gonna get three gold stars, you're gonna be the best kiddo. Um I can't wait to get my dad was like, I can't wait to get a school report card and I'm gonna have a big biscuit for you when you give in your bubbles he did. He did bubbles he did. Um so I we're just all crack pots in my house. Um I don't know if any of you've seen it, but my Halloween costume of the dogs, I'll pop it up. It is the cutest thing you'll ever see in your life. So I ordered some, I ordered my outfit for Christmas for a Christmas card because I'm going to shoot it now and get them ordered. Um, so I'm going to use Missy's clothes. But I was like, do I do Bert as, as Santa? Or do I do Bert as an elf and Coco as a reindeer? I'm unsure on that one. So I've held off on the dog outfits but everyone's getting a Christmas card off me this year. I'm going to do what the Kardashians did and did do annual Christmas cards. Um, Mum was like, is Lena in it? And I was like, no. <laughs> Didn't even offer him. Um, he did say, he was like, I can dress up if you want. I was like, it's all right. I'm quite happy just doing it mean means. Um, what else is I going to say? But today's a fresh week. I'm actually so, I've never been so happy for it to be a Monday, but I'm just so glad for it to be a, a, a fresh week. I fucked my diet last week. I wasn't, I was at the gym, but even at that, barely any effort because I was so tired. Um, wasn't really, I'd never done my steps that I usually do. I was eating maybe one meal, but it was a shite meal. So I just, I feel like shit today. Like I feel and look like shit. So I'm buzzing to get back into it because um, I'm literally going to the gym when I drop the dogs off because they're only on a half day today this is a trial um, <laughs> really praying Coco doesn't fuck up today imagine the guys at a uh, yeah, so they can't come back I just thought I'd be extra cautious and leave early wee bear boy is currently resting on my coffee I'm going to need to go to the toilet though because never drink my coffee I'll go to the toilet Um. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a wee update. I'll probably end the vlog at some point today. I and mean, then I promise the vlogs after this a bit lot better. I was such a, such a good flow. I just really honestly had such a shit week. We bear boy wasn't well, then Coco took not well. I had stuff going on with work and all that. And phew, emotions were high and I was feeling a bit stressed. And now you just get a bad week in yourself. Like you feel like you look like shit. Well, I didn't feel like I looked, I looked like shit. Um, so there was a lot of factors, but it's a new week. Positivity, positivity. There is police everywhere, man. I know that's obviously because of that cop thing, but honestly, I've never seen so many police in my whole fucking life. I'm like, are you all Glasgow police or you, you just came from somewhere? I also keep seeing police on motorbikes. Which 
to it, I'm like, it's very good. Just please excuse the state me. So guys, we're back from doggy daycare trial. We did, we had loads of fun, the women said. The women said Bear was the best boy. Coco didn't really like it, which we did expect. She said though that it's just gonna take a wee bit of time, so we're gonna just need to, um, where will I put you? We're going to just need to really, I know you're a wee bit of a slant, we're going to just really need to keep trying the cocoa because it's just going to take her longer than bear, which is fine, like there's actually, do you know what I mean, like it's fine if it takes her a bit, but I've got loads of stuff I need to put away, I've got loads of washing, I'm going to do like a little, um, let's see if that works, oh it works, um, mini like food haul because this isn't like my usual shopping but I didn't really have a lot of time and I knew if I came home with no food in the cupboards it would have just been a disaster and I wouldn't have stuck to my plan. <coughs> um, also guys got these new coffee cups from a place up the Glasgow Fort if anyone's looking for them. That can go in the bin. Um, haven't actually used them yet for coffee I've only used them for um, juice, but or for coffee, well, that's what I bought them for. Um, what was I going to say there? So, yeah, we'll get round to doing a wee quick food box unboxing because after this, I'm going to film like a week of like what I eat. Um, in the week idea because you guys just seem to like that last one. And you know, it's like what I eat in the week, it's also feel like it kind of is like a little bit of like a vlog because I still chat and all that, do you know what I mean? The gas is a mess, so I'm not, there's not really much point in me vlogging today because there's not really much I'm gonna do if I decide to do parcels and that, but in fact, I might do parcels because I probably will do parcels because I go out in the tomorrow to take photos. I cannot get Jade Pike, she is one busy human being, so. She's patched me. Um, okay, no, she's patched me. She'll never get rid of me. Um, so yeah, let's just quickly unpack. Right, so I always say I usually go to Asda and Marks and Spencers, but I was at Tesco and Aldi today. So I've got my bagel fins. Couldn't get caramel coffee. So just get normal coffee. Um, I've got skinny popcorn. I get the sweet and salty mix. Um, there are 64 calories in a pack, which is really, really good. Um, I got like the already cut ch mini chicken fillets. And I got these as like a snack, the animal bar. I put them in the fridge, they're really nice. But I like my chocolate cold, it's got milk. I needed a new salad dressing, so I got like a French style dressing. So dinner this week is looking like it's chicken fajitas. That will probably be like a three nights of dinners because you get eight wraps and I'll probably do like just have that three dinners. Um, but guys, I got this in Aldi and I got the gluten free version. Um, because of my thyroid, I am, I, I am actually meant to be gluten free, but I'm not. But I got it anyway because it was less calories and less fat. So obviously because I am trying to eat a calorie deficit, um, but I got smoky barbecue, which is mild. That's not really my thing. I'm more a spicy girl, so I just bought a fajita seasoning mix. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have that for dinner. Um, I just got salad. I've got chicken for the dogs. That was a really good bit of chicken. Um, and then I got these lean fat bacon medallions. They're quite big, aren't they? Like usually the Marks and Spencer ones are quite small. I got a wee protein yogurt thing. I and mean, then I got this, how cool is this? Especially if you like spicy food. I like spicy eggs, but I got that one cal spray, but hot and spicy chili oil. Yum. And then I got some baby potatoes, but I ended up getting like something else from Tesco, but I'll show you that in a minute. But then I got these guys, really good for like a snack or like I'm in between the gym or like at work. It's a dairy leaf filled crackers, but you get two. I just had one because I haven't, like, from a gym picking up the dogs, I haven't eaten them some days. It comes like that, but there's 
per portion 95 calories, which is great for a wee snack, especially if you are someone who kind of likes like a wee cracker and cheese or like always feels it need a wee bit of cheese. It was actually really nice. I needed salt, so I've got some rock salt. I prefer like rock salt on my eggs. Um, got any shower gel? Got broccoli. I don't usually buy broccoli like this. I usually buy the bags of broccoli, but I didn't know Aldi and Tesco didn't have them, so I just brought them. Unsure, do you boil it whole or do you cut it before you boil it? Because I don't think I'll be able to cut that. Do you think I could just boil it whole? I'll need to YouTube that. That's my mum. Um, cucumber. I love cucumber. I got some sour cream for my fajitas. I got these at a Tesco. How good are they? So it's like already cut skinny chips. But like in 100 grams, it's only 82 calories, which is really, really good, guys. Obviously, I don't like to talk about calories too much, but I'm just meaning if you're someone who's trying to watch what you're eating. Um, and 0.1% of fat, which is really good. It's basically just boiled potatoes, cutting into chips for you. But I'd already bought potatoes, but it's fine. And then I bought a different type of tuna today. I bought the tangy jalapeno, but I think I'm in the mood for the lemon. I bought some reduced fat cheese. I don't know why I bought that. I don't know what that's for. I bought sticky rice because I thought I was going to be able to make Nando's chicken with sticky rice. It's basically like Nando's sausage as they sell them. And I have that with like the grilled vegetables and rice, but I couldn't get them in Asda, eh, Tesco, so I'll maybe just have that later on in the week. I've got new jalapenos because I'm literally eating them by the jar full. Smashed avocado with lime, so that'll be like for my fajitas. I got different flavours of reduced fat hummus, which again, for like a salad, if you're someone eats a lot of salads, it's quite good to stock it up. Then I got the lemon hair peri rub. I picked up another um, protein yogurt. I picked up my biscuits for my wings. And then I picked up a wee tin of chopped tomatoes. Then I got peppers for my fajitas, onion, more lettuce, but I like to mix the lettuce, like I like to mix iceberg and whatever you call that, baby leaf salad. I got strawberries for my baked oats. I got some green beans, some raspberries, some wonky raspberries. And then how good is this? I didn't realise because I'm not a big, like I don't eat a lot of like, cause it's just me. So that's like a wee individual size packet of mints. I'm here for it. So I got that because I'm going to have fajitas and one dinner and bolognese and then just have them. That'll last me whole week. And I got some tomatoes for my salad and two individual cans of Coke. Diet Coke. And that's just for my dinners. Hi guys. So I would usually have you on my candle but I've just literally put it out so it's too hot. <clears throat> Any of you used to do that when you, like, I went to Catholic school, but when I was younger, when I was at school, I used to like get like a biscuit or something and like break it in front of my pa's and go, and then even the father and his son, the Holy Spirit, and then body of Christ. Does anyone? It's fucking weird, isn't it? But there you go, there you go. Uh, I'm really not feeling well, guys. I, took, I literally just instantly had a, like a motion, like I feel a sickness. It's not right away. But I thought I would jump on. I'm about to tan. Um also learned a new trick. By the way, one of you guys told me about it. I want to share it. I think I've already shared it, but I'll share it again. Um I'm going to hop the big place tomorrow, the hospital again, and see the surgeon is in it same healing. Nightmare. But I was in the other day and I got my Botox done and I got half a mil in my lips but you probably can't even tell. Um, and I was talking about how like I ran out of certain skincare products and she was like, oh my god, you really need to use this um, Zoe skin. My friend Erin, she lives in Dubai, she, I'm talking guys, raves. I thought I could sit you in front of me. Top of my hand on it. 
she raves about these products so i needed a moisturizer and a cleanser to be fair i'm very lazy i'd also just bit all my nails off i'm very lazy with cleanser i'm not like see the knife i was to go wash my face my, my i get all like i don't know i just don't like the feeling like my hair being this bit being wet my t-shirt and all that so i tend to always cleanse in the shower but i can sometimes forget and i just like use whatever cleanser so i've i got a cleanser but that's in the shower um, so she told me to get the, these are, she told me to get the renewal pads. So let me tell you, gently make over face, okay. Yep, so it's basically like little pads. So... But guys, this stuff's really hard apparently to get, like um, not a lot of places stock it. So if you are looking for it, then the girl that I go to for my like Botox and stuff, Jennifer go Martin will pop up her handle. That's strong. It stocks it. Because Erin every time she comes home gets it from Jen. Um, cause it's really hard to get and I was saying to Jennifer I was like oh, what cleanser do you use because honestly guys if any of you know Jennifer Martin, like if any of you have seen in real life this woman's skin is like glass it is so clear and do you know what I mean when I say obviously like not everyone's like, everyone's clean but you know what I mean like ever just look at someone's face and go wow it's clean that's what Jennifer Gormartin's skin looks like. And she says that she's used the Zoe skin for 15 years. Not changed it. She said it's the best skincare you'll ever get. So. Wow, I just instantly make your face feel a wee bit nippy. Not nippy nippy, but like just like pepperminty. I feel like that's more like. Why am I so in there? Um, but already I've had no makeup on today. So weird he's going in that bed. Um, so yeah, that's them. So they're really, really good apparently. Um, I'm going to actually put them on my Instagram story for Jen. Um, and then another thing I needed was a moisturiser. I finished the Charlotte Tilbury one that Lee's mum had bought me. Um, and I'd finished my La Mer. And I do love my La Mer. Like, they're honest, I do. But it's just a really big purchase, isn't it? For when you're buying it yourself. I usually get it for my Christmas, but um, I thought I would try this. So this is a daily, um, daily defense cream. So it's basically just a moisturizer. I'm not too sure if that's too much, but. Also, I don't really know the rope. I think I've done this all back to the front. I think I've fucked it tonight, but I'm going to Google it because I know there's actually a, an order in which I want to do your skincare. It's just because I was taught about these ones. I'm going to put these on first, but um, I will do the right way in the future. I also, from the girl that does my lashes, my brows, Danielle, um, gave me like a Novo lash. Um, Serum that's really good for your brows and lashes. Um, eye cream right now. I'm still wearing the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. Absolutely love this eye cream. Um, I just love the feeling of eye cream though. I also just watched the few and um moving to London video. They have two houses each. Wow. That's weird. Honestly, they are living the dream. If anyone wants to be the Chinsia to my Sophia, then hit me up. Um, and then I love, this is actually probably one of my favourite skincare brands. Um, it's Sunday Riley. Wow. In fact, do you know what, by the way? Their moisturiser, it's like an orange one. Oh 
my I think I got it the first time in like one of the Molly May boxes. Um what was that box she did? Cosmetics, 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 cos cos I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Cosy box? I'm oh, fucking making it up as I go along now. Um I got it in that and it was honestly probably up there with one of the best moisturizers. Um so I know I've probably done this all back to front, but that's kind of like what I'm using at the moment. I do sometimes use a serum, um, which is also Sunday Daily. I'll show you that another time. Um, I'm going to go put some tan on. Um, right now I'm using U-Tan. Um, I like was testing out some new tans and all that, but I feel like I can get the longest without taking it off as U-Tan. Wow, they look just sometimes, you know, I don't know, just stunning in it, especially base. But I'm going to show you my trick when it comes to my hands, but I'm going to go do my tan first. Okay guys, so this is a tip that one of you guys had told me about. So first of all, I'm just going to spray the, I will use the U-Tan one, um, on my face. But then I use the Tanologist brush. Spray twice and then just put it and do your hands and honestly guys to be fair the tan will probably only last like a day or two um you don't get like as long as like normal mousse tan um but it's so much more natural and I just do it like every night now, basically. Um, but yeah, like I just stop the mousse tan here and then just give it a really good blend. Basically. Aries, by the way. All the daycare took it out them. You sleepy bad boy. He's really sleepy today. Bad boy, you sleepy? Yeah, what about this wee munchkin? What about this wee munchkin? You tell everyone today. Say everyone, I was so brave today. Went you Coco Pop? Say I was so brave. Don't like mummy's tan, but you were so brave. Um, but yeah. That's where we're at on the on the chair for the skincare. Um, I'm going to keep a hold of this wee bag so I can tag Jane in the morning. Do I want to put daily on? I don't really feel like I feel very well, so I'm thinking I'm going to just patch this dressing. This um, night dress is too short for me. Um, but. Set the alarm. Where's my fob? Oh, guys. I really don't enjoy this. I need to put the big light on. Guys, I just want to let you all know that was a massive moment for me. That was why I always wanted a flat before buying a house because I felt like I would probably be less scared in a flat. Not like a big high tenement flat. That would fucking scare the life at me. But like a nice wee flat because I feel like no one can really get in a flat building, do you know what I mean? 
and I've just got one floor to deal with. It's all crumbs because of you two. Look at steamy. My hair looks yellow and needs washed to be fair. So I get washed tomorrow. But just a little juice sun. Tans on. Dogs are there. Toes are getting done on Friday. Nails are getting done on Friday. Get the massage on Friday, facial on Friday. That's a boy. Come on, mummy. No?